All right, the, um, I'm gonna uh, be evicted on, from this uh, studio, and uh, uh, I use that eviction as a symbolic because it's just like a evic eviction from my soul or eviction from uh, from this universe or eviction from uh, 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 from that that creativity which I have been doing in this place for like two years. And these symbols and the murals in this uh, uh, studio apartment, I uh, painted intentionally to encapsulate those feelings which I have seen uh, by living here and by, by observing the problems and the sufferings of the people and then I connect myself with their problems and their sufferings and then I find uh, some enlightenment within me and this is a war torn world in which we are living and uh, literally I call it a stone age of uh, a, I mean just like a stone age and are you recording and this mural uh, and this mural is a representation of uh, the world in which we have uh, been entered. And these symbols like cross and sheep and goats and bats is a symbol of dumb, ignorant age in which we are conditioned to love. And the hope is only that if we keep on painting and if we keep on talking and if we keep, if we keep on uh, moving onwards and encourage and uh, a discourage the decadent side of this world and uh, encourage the goodness of this world so to, to that we can organize more exhibits, organize more consciousness raising circles and organize more uh, organize uh, agitations on behalf of our consciousness and critical uh, reasoning, then I can f uh, say that I did not waste my time being a human being. Otherwise, um, the, the, the situation is very uh, critical and very stupid and uh, being an artist and being a writer or poet it is very difficult uh, for me as a, as a uh, living in the community of artists other than the stupid people or those people who eat only hamburgers or eat soda, drink soda and talk trash I mean buy a car and a junk consumer side while at the same time we buy canvas, we buy color, we buy books and we contribute uh, in the civilization or the civil society which is dying, which is withering away from us. And I've been uh, uh, doing these things for like 30 years, proud to be and honored to be tortured and victim and homeless and dispossessed for being an artist, not being I am a stupid person. And, uh, and when I see that the stupid people in the United States and around the world which I saw that they are making million dollar a year, even more than a million dollars a year, and all the stupid people have all the accessories and necessities of life, while we, being an artist, are representing the, uh, the history and uh, literature and art, we are dying. I mean, I think in five to ten years we are going to be as extinct from this planet, and the hope is only if we, if we keep on painting and if we keep on uh, living. is that I being an artist um, I have no regrets to be an artist and everybody hate me like these people whom I was working with and uh, like the situation is not different for being an artist and and if you have a good nature then you have to be um, miserable always and if you have what I see and my statement is just that that I will never give up on my soul on my uh, spirituality, on my, uh, my ideological side of my personality rather than my bellies or my intestine or my things which are, um, is not very important for me. The thing which is important for me is 
I can paint as much as I can, I can write books, I can write poems, I can talk with my friends and encourage all young people to be an artist and to be a poet, to be a musician and we can change this world and a better place to live for our future generation, for our kids. We need more gardens, we need more flowers, we need more books, we need more uh, museums, we need more art galleries, we don't need fucking bombs, we don't need any fucking war, we need love and peace for all and that's the basic purpose of my art and that's the soul and that's the soul of this universe to be all human being in our one and one in two and two in all and that's the purpose, that's the divinity and that's the soul of an artist uh, whoever he is, if he's not committed with his people, if he is not showing his ideological understanding that he is an artist for the people, by the people, and he mean it in his work. Otherwise, it's just a wastage of time. It's just like vomiting on a canvas, or wasting your time for no good reason and for buying. Being an artist, I think this is my moral, my social, my political, and being a human responsibility to bless, to, to, to contribute my soul towards the betterment of my fellow human beings and to make this world a better place to live.